Hi guys, Mr. Roth Waffles here. How's the wife doing? The kid's okay? And the dog too? The husband? Yep. Okay. Good. Glad to hear it. Well, I've been doing okay, but... <laughs> what a silly intro to a video. <laughs> but, in the comments of my most recent video, I've seen a little bit of a response that I thought was really rather silly. And I wanted to address it in this video just to make sure that we are all on the same page. Because if I don't do this, then there's a chance that it's just going to keep on happening. And every time I do a certain thing on my channel, people are going to be like, why? And so, I want to nip it in the butt. So, what I posted was the DLC 2 reveal stream that Treyarch did with Jason Blundell, with Noah J, with John, the Director of Communications, and a couple of other people that were working on the multiplayer side of things. Including, I believe, Matica and people like that. Yeah, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so they were there and that was great. It was a good stream. Lots of new info in that stream. An awful lot of new info. Not just about Zetsubo no Shima, but also talking about maps that aren't going to be coming out for several months now because, I mean, there was info in there that was going to be pertaining to DLC 3, DLC 4, but also pertains to just the design philosophy of Treyarch. And it was about 35 minutes of zombies info. There was an awful lot of stuff in there. It's really packed with information. I'll link it in the description down below so you can check it out if you want to. And in the comments of the video, people, or a couple of people, and by all means this was not everyone, so don't worry about that. It was only a select few, but it was still enough of a few for me to feel like it warranted addressing. People were saying, Milo, this is late. And I was like, what? Uh, no. What? No! No! Stop there! Halt! <laughs> Cease your silly commenting! Let's talk about this for a second. Treyarch did their stream on Thursday. I posted this video on Tuesday. So, yes, there were a few days between the stream and me posting the video. Right, now let's talk about why this isn't late and why it wouldn't even matter if it was late, okay? So, there's info in this video that is going to be relevant until the end of this year, and there's info in this video that's going to be relevant for several years to come. We might look back on something Jason says here in four years' time during the DLC season of another game. We might look back on this next year, for example, when we're looking at some of the ways that Sledgehammer, or rather, is it Sledgehammer? No, Infinity Ward are building up Extinction 2.0 or whatever we're seeing in the next game, and going, hmm, it's interesting that Jason Blundell is considering these design elements in his design process, but Infinity Ward aren't. Or, oh, look, Jason Blundell has a different opinion as to how they should design a map compared to Infinity Ward. Things like that. These are concepts and topics and it's information that is not just one week old and that's it. That's done. No one's going to care about it anymore. That is not the way it works. You have to understand that I am a channel. I am a person that doesn't just see a stream and then go, right, that's the end. I'm not going to look at that anymore. I'm looking constantly at seven-year-old information in zombies. At eight-year-old information. Eight years. Eight bloody years, man. And if I posted something now from Nachtaran Toten and it was an Easter egg that we'd known about for a while, it would just be new stuff on my channel. You have to understand that. It's not always about, and this is something that really grinds my gears, it's not always about being first to do everything. If I was the first person to post that cutscene, then great, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with being towards the beginning of posting it, but there's nothing wrong either with being towards the end. I could literally have waited a year to post that video and still posted it because at the end of the day, it's a resource. I know then that that content in a form that I am aware of and I can navigate easily is on my channel so that in a year's time, I can go back and say, a year ago, I posted this. And in that, I said this. And that information is relevant now and things like that. It's a data bank, essentially, for myself and for other people, including all of you guys, to go back and check old information and do that however you want to, whenever you want to. It doesn't need to be tomorrow. It doesn't need to be in a month's time. You could do this in 20 years if you wanted to and go, oh, wow, I love that ZNS uh, reveal stream. I want to go back and have a look at it. Oh, wait, Mr. Ruffle Waffles didn't post it for the first four days after release? Well, looks like he couldn't have posted it after that fifth day then because that would have been late. So I'm glad he didn't upload it. Oh, man, I'm glad I don't have this extra piece of info. You see what I'm saying here, guys? 
it's not late. It's just, it's not the way it works. Seriously, you can consider it late or whatever, but I'm gonna take it as an insult if you write that in my comment section, like I should be ashamed of being late or something, or I shouldn't even be posting the video in the first place, right? Okay? So, hopefully that's clear. This is turned into a little bit of a rant, I suppose, but I just wanted to get it off my chest that it's the most infuriating thing when, for example, I posted the uh, disco easter egg on Der Eisengacher. I posted that after everyone else did, and I'm completely aware of that. I posted it maybe a week after the majority of other people started posting that easter egg about activating the disco ball in that map. But that shouldn't be an issue. Yes, if you've seen the video before and it's in your sub box, you don't need to click on it. That's fair enough. If you've seen the video before, you click on it, you're like, oh, I've seen this before. You can click off. That's fine. But leaving a comment, being sort of passive aggressive, going, oh, this is late. What are you doing, Milo? Oh my goodness, I am a human being, right? Another extra point to bolster what I've been saying is the fact that I'm at university, I'm studying physics. It takes up, it's basically a full-time job plus a load of extra hours afterwards. And then I'm doing YouTube on top of that. I don't do this full-time. And so if I post something a few days after everyone else, chances are I've been working on my actual life outside of YouTube. That does need a little bit of attention at some points of my day, unfortunately. And so, I can't be on top of everything completely 100% of the time, all the time. 90% of the time, I am up there. I am hella close to being, not necessarily first, but in that breaking crew of people that will be posting things as they happen. I am really damn obsessive over this stuff. You have no idea. Well, maybe you do if you've actually watched my videos on my channel, which you probably have done at this point. But what I'm getting at here is the fact that sometimes I post a video three days after it happens, a week after it happens, and that does not constitute people in the comments, in my opinion, saying, Milo, you just shouldn't have uploaded this. This is old news at this point. We don't care anymore. It's not relevant. It's not going to be relevant in the future. And I am a man. So please, guys, understand where I'm coming from with this. And fingers crossed, you'll be better informed for when this happens in the future. And also, me posting this video is going to let me tweet it to people or link it to people when they say it to me in the future, so I have an easy way of explaining what the hell I'm talking about, rather than having to write out a massive list of reasons every time I see a comment like this, and it just drives me insane. So, hopefully, this has been a little bit informative about my creative process, about what's going on in the head of Mr. Ruffle Waffles. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, then leave a like. If you haven't, let me know why in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.